Okay, status report time. Listen to me, I'm sending all Americans status. Status report time. Um, so this is kind of early in the week. Um, I did a big update yesterday, so this one's going to be a smaller, less dramatic update, but really kind of a progress report in a number of different areas, okay? So it's really cool, lots to talk about. Contest. Starting tomorrow and every single day, we are going to give away a unit or something to someone. You have to be a backer. We're going to draw from the backers. Someone gets something for nothing. Um, full details are going to be announced tomorrow. We'll do a, a you know a little press release on it. If you're a backer, you stand to win something. And we're going to do that for the rest of the Kickstarter. We are going to lead up to a grand drawing. Wait until you hear the details. Someone is going to make out like a bandit. I'm going to be jealous because they're going to get something so cool. Next up, miniatures. So um, 40k stretch goal was announced. Very, very popular set of miniatures there. Let's drive and get that 40k mark. It's very important. We're going to have some painted miniatures coming up here shortly. You'll be able to actually see what they're going to look like. Excited to be showing you that. Plus, in this email up there, I guess, um, John Robertson has actually started to show us some progress that he's making on the sculpts. Fantastic. Early days, but for the people among you that like to see the sculpting process, well worth taking a look at. Um, we'll keep posting those. As they come in from John, as they come in from Jason, we'll obviously share them with you. 3D Terrain. So we're working with a company uh, called, uh, I'm going to have to read it here, Tectonic Craft Studios. Um, wonderful guys over there. Seriously, great product. I love their stuff. We're going to make it available as add-ons. They're working with us to come up with like stake barriers, walls, fences, ruins, that type of thing. The moon gate is going to get done by those guys. I'm really digging it. Can't wait for actually adding it as an add-on to the Kickstarter. This email up there contains photographs of it. So, and then lastly, well, actually a couple of things. Shipping fees. Lots of people have been asking me about this because I've been talking about it freely. I really want to try and waive shipping fees to the entire of the EU. Big part of that is shipping it to someone who can then take it from there and working out the logistics. Tor Gaming, they have been really cool. They've stepped forward and said, hey, you can use our warehouse, send us it from here, we'll ship them out. So we're currently working out the details with them. I have no doubt that we'll actually get this figured out. That will allow us to ship in bulk, pay the customs, dues, fees, whatever, on your behalf, and then talk and ship out from there. What will this mean? We'll have to eat a little bit here at Tom World, but maybe we can get shipping completely waived for you guys. And I know that will open up some doors. I know that will make a lot of you really happy. So still trying to work out the details. We're really, really close now. Thanks to Tor Gaming. Check out their website. Link above. Good, cool guys. Lastly, it's going to be a little bit of an odd one, this. but Because uh, no one, none of you really asked for it. But we've actually started adding our models to Shapeways. The purpose is not to be selling them for profit or anything like that. We're not going to advertise it beyond our normal Kickstarter. We want you, if you want, to start downloading these models and getting them printed up. A, you could use the Max D as prototypes and play some board games while you're waiting for the actual box set, uh, box set to arrive. You could actually get one printed up and add it into your game if you wanted. This is not representative of the final quality of the product. This is not representative of our production method. But not many people actually allow their stuff to be downloaded ahead of time, right? We are. So go off and grab yourself a Moo Slinger if you want to. It's on Shape Rise right now. We'll probably add one or two other miniatures as well. Not all are really well suited for 3D printing because, again, that's not the production method we're shooting for. But the ones that we think that we uh, will work, we'll put them up there. Apparently, Shape Rise has a solid silver option. So you could get yourself a solid silver Moo. I'm actually kind of pretty tempted by that. I've got to be honest with you. So check it out. The link is directly above this video here. Um, I think, you know, it will be an exciting thing to actually be able to hold one of our miniatures, even just a prototype version, six months ahead of time, right? So... 
Thank you again, all of you, for being awesome backers. Very excited with these next two weeks. Very excited to be bringing this one home, so to speak. And um, keep on playing, guys.